people welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on another video in today's video we are going back to old OG three years ago student videos on this channel <laughs> have any of you been on this channel for up to three years no worries if not if you're new thank you for joining if you have been here since the student fitness days then let me know in the comments but I just was about to meal prep and I was like why don't I just meal prep with them and just show you what I'm making I'm actually really hungry right now so I'm gonna make a meal for right now but I'm gonna make enough so I can pop it in some tubs and just do a meal prep that's how I meal prep now by the way I don't as often make loads of meals at the same time I'll just make whatever I want for dinner and prep a load until I've got enough stock up that I don't need to make dinner. I think I'm gonna try and make like a peanut butter chickeny thing. As usual, I will just cook along with you guys and then I'll put the recipe down in the description or do a blog post or something like that or you can just pick it up as we cook together. If you like this kind of video please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and please subscribe for more videos. I'm really trying to like just give a lot on this YouTube space and like pour out more of what is in my heart and I know that sounds a bit dramatic given that I do workouts and eating videos but honestly I feel like happy healthy lifestyles are so fundamental and are so such a blessing and I just really want to share and help you guys so a way that you can help me is by sharing the channel if you find it useful just send it to a friend join me on Instagram Twitter Facebook my website and um, because I post loads on Instagram as well I post loads of recipes definitely join me on there and let me know in the comments what kind of videos you want to see next all right, without further ado, let's get cooking. These are the ingredients that I'll be using. I've got some boneless chicken breast, and then I've got some rice. Then I'm using some fry light spray. I love this stuff because it just saves you a load of calories when you need to fry things. Then I've got some smooth peanut butter, some salt, some thyme, a lemon, a couple of Maggi cubes. Would have gone with chicken stock cubes, but I have run out, so I'm just gonna use some Maggi cubes, one red chili, and then some onions. I actually buy my onions sliced, and then I just freeze them. That just saves me from crying. I'm just so done with tears, you guys. Got some broccoli, so just a vegetable of choice, really. So I'm using some tender stem broccoli there, and then I've got some already rinsed and washed rice in the pot ready to be boiled. I'm gonna add in a bit of salt into the rice. Then I'm going to cut up my chili into small slices. Not that small, just as small as I can be bothered to, to be honest. One of these days, I'm gonna sharpen my knives and then I will probably still be bad at cutting things. Um, I just won't have an excuse anymore. Next, I'm gonna cut up the chicken breast into small thin slices, not two things, so that would be a little bit creepy but also not too thick because then it won't cook as quickly and you do want it to cook relatively quickly. Loki forgot to film myself slicing that but you get the gist right you get it. Next thing I'm gonna do is take some of my boiled water and I'm basically just gonna use it. Oh shut up. This kettle is cute but so rude it's so loud and annoying but it's cute though. I'm gonna add the stock cubes to a load of hot water, or rather add a load of hot water to the stock cubes to make some stock water. And just leave it to dissolve. I'm just heating up my frying pan and spritzing it with a load of fry light. You can use oil if you want. Um, I'm just in the habit of not using oil unless it's absolutely necessary. Um, we already have quite a good fat content in this meal from the peanut butter, so I'm happy to just use the fry light. And I'm going to fry my frozen onions until they're nice and brown. Then I'm gonna add in the chilies as well. Now I will add in the chicken, which is quite a lot by the way. I am always overfilling the pan. It is such a bad habit, but hey ho. I'm just gonna pour on some of the stock water that I made earlier, as well as some lemon juice. Try not to get the seeds in there like I just did. My bad. I also added in some thyme, and then the peanut butter. Three generous, tablespoons of peanut butter. Mm. 
you can add in a little bit more water as needed because you do want this to be like a sauce for the rice as well and then i'm just going to add in some black pepper and a little bit of salt and um, once the chicken is cooked i'll just taste everything i think and see how it's tasting and if i want to add or take away anything it smells so good <laughs> I'm going to leave that to cook on a low heat now and I'm going to boil the broccoli. The peanut butter chicken is done and it tastes incredible. The chicken is so succulent. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and lay everything out. I have six tubs here. To be honest, I've kind of just made as much as I had in the kitchen. I haven't weighed anything. I tend to eyeball things. Um, so I'm not sure that it will make six, but it doesn't really matter. Either way, I will keep and store these. The broccoli will only be enough for about three meals, I think. I've got some spinach here and I'm just going to go ahead and place the spinach in three of these tubs. The way that I like to think about my meals or the way that makes it easy for me is I just think of a protein source, a carbohydrate source and vegetables. Now I know that vegetables are a source of carbohydrates um, but it just helps me to kind of fully balance my meals. I know that there are a lot of different ways to do that but you can't really go wrong. When you've got something leafy, something green, when you've got something starchy, when you've got a great lean protein source you know, you pretty much covered all bases. So with the rice, what I like to do um, is I like to put it out in bowls. First of all, because it looks really cute. And second of all, because I'm quite a visual eater, so I like my meals to look nice, especially when you're eating out of a tub, you know, it can be a bit meh. And if you want to be able to Instagram them, you do want them to look cute. So what I do is I just get my relatively soft rice. I use a long grain rice slightly overdone it but it's nice i do like it soft and i'm just gonna pack that into a bowl that i've sprayed with some non-stick spray all packed in and then i'm gonna put my tupperware tub on top like that i'm just gonna turn it over and knock it down and there you have it I do eat relatively quite a lot of carbohydrates. I do eat a lot of protein um, because I'm really quite active. I do a lot of weightlifting, a lot of hurdling. Um, so just readjust the portions according to how much you need. Potentially reduce the rice and increase the um, vegetable content. I've just turned off the broccoli as well. Because one thing that you do want to remember with meal preps is that you're not going to be eating them straight away. You will be reheating them. So it's better to have things slightly undercooked, except from meats. Always cook your meats all the way through, obviously. But vegetables, I prefer to undercook them and give them a bit of a crunch. So that if I'm reheating the meal in the microwave, I'm not overcooking them. I'm just getting them just right. So that's also something to keep in mind as well. I'm switching to a slightly smaller tub now. Um, because it doesn't, the bowl doesn't fit in the other Tupperware ones. <laughs> but also because because I do like to kind of vary my portion sizes. So on rest days when I'm not doing as much, I tend not to eat as much. And um, so I'll know then which ones have a higher carbohydrate content, a higher calorie content. And I'm gonna add my vegetables. Last but certainly not least, I'm gonna add in my absolutely delicious peanut butter chicken that I cannot overstate how good this smells. Oh, it smells so, so good. So I'm just going to add that in too. I'm going for quite generous portions of this, but again, adjust depending on your needs. And there you have it, you guys. The meal prep is all done. Some peanut butter chicken with broccoli and spinach. I'm so, so excited to eat these. Oh my goodness, it tastes so good. That prep made seven meals altogether, so we've got six in tubs, one that I'm about to absolutely demolish right now. <laughs> now the way that I will store those is that I will put two in the fridge and I'll put the rest, so four, in the freezer. The reason that I do that is because I don't want to have to rush these. I don't want to have to be having peanut butter chicken for breakfast, lunch and dinner for the next few days. Um, so I freeze them and I will leave them in the freezer for honestly as long as I want. <laughs> if you want the texture to remain good then you should try and not leave them for longer than like a few weeks and um, but follow the directions on whatever food you're using in terms of how long it can be frozen after you've cooked it honestly i tend to err on the side of i do what i want um but just <laughs> to be safe definitely follow the instructions for whatever food it is that you are using in the fridge these should hopefully keep for around about two to three days but again i go by like looking at them smelling them if for some reason it's been really hot or someone's left the fridge open and they look gone off i won't eat them and um, if they look good 
Don't quote me on this, but I will still eat them. And yeah, that is it. That concludes our video for today. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for sharing life with me, guys. Thank you for your kindness and love. You guys are the best. I'm really grateful to have this internet friendship, whatever you want to call it. And um, yeah, if you like this kind of video, definitely let me know in the comments because I prep basically like all the time. Okay, like a few times a week. Um, but I can definitely just grab the camera and show you guys what I'm eating. Please let me know if you try this recipe and definitely tag me in all of your Instagram pictures if you make this at DR Sarah Sienna. I would love to see it. Just it makes my day. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Fun fact, my dining room table is always set, but I eat on the sofa. <laughs>